And right here in San Antonio, Hawaiian transplants watching in horror from afar. The paradise they knew so well has become a place that people are trying to escape. Our Camelia Juarez spoke with people working at a Hawaiian restaurant who say they are still waiting to hear if their loved ones are okay. It's a huge loss for Hawaii. Hawaiians in San Antonio say it's painful watching parts of Maui turn to ashes. I just wanted to jump through the phone and, you know, try to help. The owner of Big Aloha Alihi Cove, Samson Young, says it's hard watching people desperate to escape. Because of the flames that are popping up all over, they had to literally jump in the ocean to, to uh, get, get away. Samson and Tierra Sherry have friends and family in Maui but say it's been challenging to know if they're okay because the power lines are down. They spend most of their time refreshing their social media feeds, hoping for a status on their loved ones. They're posting it up saying who is at which location, and so that's how you can find them. A lot of the damage is in historic Lahaina. The city was once the capital of Hawaii when it was ruled by a single king. That's always been there. It's something that you can't imagine being gone, but it's always been a part of our life. All Samson can do now is wait for good news and hope for the best. I'm sure they will rebuild. Um, but uh, right now, what's important is to find our, our loved ones, uh, find the ones that are missing, and uh, pray for the ones who will... Uh, who have lost a loved one. If you're looking for ways to show your support, we have a link on our website to their Facebook page. They're going to be posting some ways to help out in the next couple of days. Camilia Juarez, Kiss at 12.